Hi everyone. So everybody was curious of how we could do triple A and did that miss a thing. So today I'm gonna teach you a little bit in three minutes on how we could scan triple A. So basically, you need three points of scanning. Uh, you start from Epigastrium, and the probe should be in transverse view like this. You start from Epigastrium, which is uh, proximal aorta you move down the probe a little bit uh, you know and at mid aorta normally the bowel would obscure the aorta so please don't mind it so much just move the probe down to um, where the umbilicus is normally you will see aorta again here and then move down to umbilicus where uh, normally the aorta would split into small iliac artery um, this is a showcase of our patient where uh, he obviously has a large triple A. As you can see, this is a cystic uh, structure where you could see here, this is round, but you can see something a little bit here, which is hypo hyperechoic. When you put in color, uh, because the turbulence flow, which means that uh, you know the, the flow in the aorta actually uh, travel in uh, opposite section that direction so you see one half is blue and one half is red so this is actually a confirmation that is this is triple a uh, the last thing is how you could measure it so this is actually something that people miss a lot basically you need to you need to measure from outer to outer so here to here uh, the cystic content or the cystic structure that you could see uh, on the inside is actually a uh, true lumen, which is not um, obviously not all of the aorta. If you measure here, sometimes you will get a smaller aortic diameter, uh, less than you know, less than what you could actually make it. So basically, scan and look carefully to see the hematoma here and measure from outer to outer wall. And you can see here, this is uh, normally this is this is ten, so this is five. So basically, this is like five point five something. So if this is more than uh, three centimeters, it means that this patient has triple A. If uh, the diameter is go up to five, it means the mortality will go up twice as well. And if you scan to where the aortic bifurcation, which there is iliac artery, the diameter would be more than 1.5 I'll show you some clips later but so here you know above the umbilicus is more than 3 is abnormal below umbilicus more than 1.5 centimeters is abnormal so thank you everyone and oh and this one is actually I forget <laughs> this one actually he actually has fast positive here this is kidney and here in the black area around the kidney is actually where you could see fast positive which is actually pretty lucky for him because normally when you see fast positive you know something serious was going on in patient who has abdominal pain and um, so normally in patient who have a triple A only 20% has a fast positive so um, be careful if you have patient who you suspect triple A and the fast is negative it doesn't mean anything down here this is so as muscle where um, normally if uh, the patient is normal you could see so as muscle pretty clear in striate pattern but uh, as you can see here it's not so clear so much so it's actually if you look at a cat scan this patient has retroperineum hematoma as well so you know uh, this is what happened so you see fast positive and not so clear so as muscle something was wrong you know, and i'm not sure this is hematoma or not i have to look at his ct so again one two three and outer to outer uh, diameter more than three centimeters so thank you everyone and happy scanning